I work in a very diverse way, depends what I feel like. I did some very large oil paintings as a student and afterwards as well. For quite a few years afterwards, I would make paintings that were as, as big as eight foot long. And they were usually of landscape or an urban landscape with people doing things. But for various reasons, I kind of ran dry a little bit with those types of ideas. And I wanted to do something which was quite different. And I'd always had a real love of literature and of drawing in a very fine way, as well as painting in a very expressive way. So I started to make work which was very small with water-based paints and also working in pen and ink. And I started to do illustration. But I do still paint in oils. Sometimes I just feel like doing an abstract painting using lots of thick, colourful oil paint. I used to always have a sketchbook with me and I would just draw everything that I saw. I've got lots and lots of these sketchbooks and I would never sell them because it was always my source material. Sometimes I used to just sketch walking along actually, um, so the, the sketches are often very wobbly. But then when I became more interested in doing illustration, I stopped doing that and the ideas tended to come from my imagination or the piece of text that I was illustrating and I really found that I had enough information in my own inner eye, in my imagination, to work from. The very fine detail that's in my illustrations it takes a very long time to do. It takes a long time to build up the watercolour or the acrylic paint and I use a very fine brush. With one large scale illustration that I was making, I had to um, hold my breath as I was painting on the very fine gold lines um, because every time I breathed, my hand kind of wobbled. Um, so it is quite tricky to do. It's very labor intensive. The style that I use when I illustrate is probably a style that I started using as a child. Um, I used to really like looking at illustrated books and my favourite was an artist called Errol Lecane um, who did very fairy tale inspired illustrations and um, so I used to copy these as a child and do my own versions of them always on fairy tale themes um, so when I started to work in that way I automatically started drawing as I had done as a child. The same ideas were kind of coming back that I wanted to create. But it was so interesting that it was very, very different from the work that I was doing as a painter, which used a lot of very thick paint and expressive brush marks and was often on a large scale and painted with a lot of energy. And whereas the illustrations, you have to be very kind of calm and static. At the moment, I'm just thinking about how I can use these very different ideas that started when I was working as an illustrator in the way that a painter might do and mixing perhaps more expressive ways of painting with this very fine technique and um, with a very strong narrative drive to it. The painting that I've got on the easel at the moment is a funny mixture between an illustration and an oil painting. I keep working on it, I keep changing bits that I'm not quite satisfied with. When I was painting the lace on the curtains, I was doing a lot of teaching of children um, all day long. And so I'd come back to my studio and just do a very small amount of lace every day. So it's a painting that has built up over quite a long period of time. Um, I listen to the radio. It's quite odd being on your own all day. But sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Because it's actually really hard work being an artist. It can be very frustrating. But at the moment I do more and more teaching, so I think it's quite important, for me at least as an artist, to fit the art that I do into the other things in my life, rather than um, letting art dominate everything. And that's how it's turned out to be.